Hello friends, welcome back to Crafting It with Nicole and if you're new here, hi, welcome. For today's video, I'll be sharing with you some amazing hacks that you can do with Dollar Tree's wall art stickers. Now let's get started. Here I'm showing you some different clips that I took at my local Dollar Tree so you can see the different ones that they have. I picked up these two packs and I was so impressed by the cute stickers that each pack has. I was very excited to get crafting with these. And the best part is that the possibility with these stickers are endless. You could do so many different projects with these. So I'm going to show you here a couple of ideas of what you could do. Okay friends, so for the first project, you're gonna need a cutting board from Dollar Tree. I wanted to leave the wood as is, but you can always paint over it and give it a different color of your choice. So here I'm playing with the stickers and I'm putting them together until I'm happy with it. And after that's done, I'm gonna go over it with Apple Barrel white paint and dotting tool, just making dots all around the sign so it can look like snow. Next, I wanted to add some of this country gray paint from Apple Barrel and just dry brushing it all around the edge of the sign to give it more texture and some character. Also friends, if you want your projects to last and be protected, you can always add a layer of Mod Podge on top of all the stickers to seal them in and that will give it that extra protection and they will last for a very long time. But for the purpose of this video, I decided to skip that step. Okay, so what I've done so far is add a garland tie to the top of this sign. Then I'll be adding some greenery that I got from Dollar Tree, cutting them to size and then gluing them in place. Next, you're going to need this large berries pack of 16 that Dollar Tree carries and I'll be gluing a couple of them on top of this sign. Since I want this sign to stand on its own, I'm creating a stand with some Jenga blocks. You're going to need three of them and glue them right in the back and that will be all my friends. Okay friends, so moving on to the next project, you're gonna need a piece of cardboard. Then I'm gonna be using this wood pattern cardstock paper that I got from Michaels, cutting it to size and gluing it in place. Next, I grabbed the stickers that I want to use for this sign and I decided to go with this cute little camper that says Merry and Bright and I thought it was perfect. It's very woodsy. I thought it would go perfect with the wood pattern paper. Next, you're gonna need some faux snow and I got this one from Dollar Tree so I'll be adding some Mud Podge in all the areas that I want to add the snow and then adding a thick layer of that snow. Friends, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to stick around. I love to share my ideas and tips on budget-friendly home decor and DIYs. It would truly mean the world to me. And if you already do, welcome back, my friend. If you see some spots that is missing snow, just add more Mod Podge and add another layer of snow until you are happy with it. Next, I'll be adding a garland tie to the top of this sign along with some ribbon. Now, I got this pack of ribbon for $5 at Dollar General, which I thought it was a really great price for five different ribbons. I decided to keep it a little bit simple, so I just went with this white and red string ribbon, wrapping it around my hand a couple times, and then just tying it into a knot, and that will be my bow. Isn't this cute? And I thought it was a perfect touch on this sign. After I glued the bow in place, I decided to add some wood beads at the tails of the bow. And that will be it for this project, my friends. Okay friends, so moving on to the next DIY, you're going to need a piece of cardboard and I'll be using this candy cane sticker, placing it right in the center of the cardboard. Next, I'll be using four small popsicle sticks in the red color. Dollar Tree does carry a pack of popsicle sticks, multicolor, so I'll be using four of the red ones, using them as a border for this sign. 
this cute little sign it is the perfect size for a tear tray or even a kitchen accent decor piece next i'll be adding this string ribbon making it into a bow and gluing it on the sign and then i'm going to be flipping the sign over because i don't want that cardboard to show in the back so i'm going to be covering it with some red cardstock paper I added a wood slice to the back of the sign so it could stand on its own and that's going to be all for this sign my friends. I put it on my tear tray and I'll show you how it looks. Okay friends so now we're going to be moving to the second pack of wall art stickers that i got from dollar tree and i am so in love with this one with the gingerbread and all the cute colors i'm very excited to do some projects with these okay friends so for the next diy you're gonna need two craft wood pieces from dollar tree and i'm measuring them five inches long in each wood piece marking it where i need to cut and then i'm gonna go with my miter box tool and i'll have a link in the description box below for you my friend I'll be using this tool to cut the wood to size. Since it was a little bit rough on the edges, I went with my sanding block also from Dollar Tree and just sanding the edges until I get a smooth finish. Next, I'll be gluing the wood pieces together according to size. And when I say according to size is because I have four pieces that measure five inches and then the rest of the craft wood measured seven inches so i decided to leave it in that long piece and i'll be using it for a bigger sticker which is fine it worked out perfectly okay so grabbing one of the wood pieces i decided to paint it in the white color from apple barrel giving it a good coat to cover all that wood next i'll be adding this cute sticker right in the center of the wood piece making sure it's nicely adhered to the wood and then we're going to be adding this cute ribbon that reminds me of a candy cane. I got it from Dollar Tree and I thought it would be perfect to add to this wood sign. I'll be adding the ribbon all around the edge of this sign so it can look like a border. Next, I'll be adding this string ribbon, making it into a bow, gluing it right in the corner of this sign. Adding a wood slice to the back, and this is another idea that you can do for a small kitchen home accent decor piece, as well as for a tear tray decor. Okay friends, so moving on to the next wood piece, you're gonna need some green paper. So I decided to go with this green cardstock paper, tracing it and then cutting it to size. After they're cut, we're gonna be gluing them to the wood piece, in the back and also in the front. Now we're gonna be adding the sticker. And I went with this one. I think it's so cute what it says. It looked a little plain, so I decided to add some polka dots in the red and white color using apple barrel paints. Next, we're going to be using a piece of cardboard. And I'm going to be tracing it into a rectangular shape. Now I'm cutting two of the same size shapes because I'm going to be stacking them one on top of the other so it can be more sturdy. Then cutting smaller pieces because we're going to be creating a box. Now if you do have a Dollar Tree crate, that will work for this project as well. But I didn't have one on hand so I just decided to make it from scratch made of cardboard. Now that the box is created, I'm going to be wrapping it with this wood pattern cardstock paper. Measuring and cutting to size, next gluing all the pieces of paper into place, covering all the cardboard.
Next, you're going to need two popsicle sticks, and we're going to be gluing them right in the back of that sign. After that's complete, we're going to be gluing that sign onto the wooden box. I didn't cover the bottom of the box, and I'll show you here in a minute why. Next, I'll be adding this garland that i got from dollar tree and i'm going to be placing it all around the edge of the box it gives it that festive look but it also covers that cardboard peeking through Next, you're going to need some crinkle paper. Dollar Tree carries them in a variety of colors, but this is what I had on hand. So I'm just putting some at the bottom of the box. And this serves for a great gift idea that you can give to someone and put some candy and cookies inside, some hot cocoa packets, and that will be an amazing gift. Since I'll be placing this in my home as home decor piece, I just decided to go with some of the cute stickers that came in the packet, placing them in a white cardstock paper and then cutting them to size. After they are complete, I start placing them inside the box. And isn't this so cute? Let me know in the comments below what do you think. For the next project my friends we're going to be using the third wood piece now we're going to be covering this with the wood pattern cardstock paper cutting it to size and gluing it in place next we're going to be adding this cookies for santa sticker as well as a gingerbread cookie next to it this cute little sign is perfect to place next to santa's cookies the night before christmas the gingerbread was a bit bigger than I thought it would be on this wood piece, but I made it work. Cut the piece of the candy cane that was left over and just move it down a little bit and it looks so seamless. And just adding a wood slice to the back and this sign is all done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video gave you some ideas and inspiration. I'll see you back here real soon. Bye guys.